This video is sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards. Celebrating its 5th anniversary, Warhammer Combat Cards is the original Warhammer 40,000 card battle game. Build a deck and take the fight to the enemy as you seek to win glory. Now with over 880 cards in game, featuring heavy metal painted miniatures, Warhammer Combat Cards keeps pace with Games Workshop releases and now includes Combat Patrol, Battle Force boxes, updated miniatures, themed battle passes with unique cosmetics and more events that season focus on certain factions. Warhammer Combat Cards has live events and an ever-evolving card range as you expand and upgrade your card collection. Also check out brand new features such as Horde Mode, Apocalypse Mode and Wild Cards. Link in the video description below along with promo code SS82 which can be used to claim 40 Imperial Agent cards, 400 coins and 40 Plasma. Thanks and enjoy the video. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It is 2,000 points. It's a crucial league battle between the Alpha Legion Chaos Space Marines and Gut Rippers Orcs. These two sides have never collided before. Uh, we're matching them up for a very important game. Uh, if either of these two armies do really well, uh, they may well be able to qualify for the knockout stages of our Season 12 league. And then on the other hand, if one of these armies performs badly, uh, they may well find themselves knocked out. Uh, of the tournament. So a crucial battle between uh, these two forces, Chaos versus Xenos. So for bonus content and to see all of the league battles, because some of the league battles we have put over onto YouTube channel membership, then do join us on the channel. Uh, you can uh, follow the link below or go to the channel homepage, hit the join button. Uh, the first tier, Aspect Warrior level, will unlock all the bonus content that we create and it goes to help support us here on the channel as well. We can't produce these battle reports without you. Uh, we do need your support on membership. So Aspect Warrior level, uh, join us and you can unlock all the bonus content, including some of our key league battles for the league. So for the Alpha Legion Pact Bound Zealots is the detachment. And then in no particular order, we've got Lord Comiscus on the left hand side. Uh, so it's the Lord Discordant. I have given him the Talisman of Burning Blood and Corn is uh, his Mark of Chaos for that unit. Right along the back, I have three Venom Crawlers. They're all going to go as Chaos Undivided. Then two squads of Terminators taking the Mark of Zinch for each of those. Two squads of five. Uh, so we have Chaos Cultists, squad of ten, going for Nurgle. Keyword for them. Then we have uh, Havocs, a squad of five, as with their Reaper Chain Cannons. Four of those. Melter Gun and Power Fist on the squad leader. Nurgle uh, for their mark. Then inside this corrupted Ultramarines Rhino, the Bone Collector or Davy Jones's Locker as we've called it, uh, inside that goes uh, 10 Chaos Chosen and then with them is a Chaos Lord and as they all combine together to fit inside the Rhino to transport them around. Now, then we have the Land Raider and I mentioned it before but you can check out this is a, a standard Chaos Space Marine Land Raider with a 3D printed upgrade uh, pack added on top. That's from Icarus Pattern. You can check him out over on Instagram. Brilliant job that he's done. He's on a variety of Chaos and Imperial uh, factions upgrade kits for a variety of vehicles. Uh, so regular Chaos Land Raider uh, with the Lascans, Heavy Bolter. There's a combi weapon on there as well. Um, and Havoc Launcher. Nurgle mark for that. A Laz Cannon Havoc Team. Plasma Gun, Power Fist on the squad leader. The rest are all equipped with Laz Cans, Nurgle on them as well. And finally, we have a Warp Smith in the list as well, as Mark of Nurgle being taken for him. So that's the list for the Alpha Legion. This is a collaboration project here. These models, a number of them have been painted up by Phoenix Lords. Top level support on the channel. Massive thank you to them. Great to see uh, another Chaos Space Marine Legion represented on the channel. And commanders and sub commanders. So, commanders for the Alpha Legion, we've got Amy Almo, one of the Phoenix Lords, and then sub commander will be Darth Windu, one of the Autarchs on the channel. And their model allocation will be Amy Almo onto uh, Lord Comiscus across here, and then Darth Windu will go on to uh, the Chaos Lord, who's been given the dastardly name of Lord Whack a Mole <laughs> for his habit that he's developed. 
of scoring uh, some amazing hits. You have to check out the game against the Imperial Fists. You'll see what we mean. But that's where his reputation was forged uh, in the previous battle with the Alpha Legion. That is the list for the Chaos Space Brains. Uh, they can... We'll see how they get on against the Orcs. Orcs relish close combat. They relish a good scrap. We'll see if the Alpha Legion uh, can stand up to them. So we'll take a look now and see what the Orcs have in their list. Mike's going to go with the Orcs. He's going to run them. He's run them before. Uh, I'm going to run the Alpha Legion for this battle. All right, so 2,000 points of Orcs. It's the War Horde is the detachment for them. Uh, with the new codex, we're going to stick with the War Horde at this point. There, is, there has been a new armor development video for the Orcs. I uh, haven't assembled a new list yet. A uh, few tweaks and changes, though, with this current list uh, for them. So we have Warboss uh, Gut Ripper himself. So he is uh, leading the army. Just there. I don't think there's any upgrades for him at all. We've got a war boss in Mega Armor uh, across here being taken. Grog the Whopper. Uh, the Super Cyborg Body is the upgrade being taken for him. We have a Death Killer War Trike, represented by the Forge World War Boss model across here, but going to use the rules for the Death Killer War Trike. Bodyguard of six war bikers being taken uh, to protect him. Two squads of boys across here. Power Claw being taken for each of the squad leaders, and dedicate transport of a truck for each of those. Uh, as well we then have the Gorkonaut is in the list and it can transport up to 12 models now uh, I think so uh, we're going to put 10 knobs inside all with power claws and they'll be joined by Gut Ripper and uh, we have we've changed the weapons on these so it's uh, mech guns squad of two some bubble chuckers we're going for this time around we'll throw some bubbles at the Alpha Legion then uh, for Grog the Whopper he's going to have a bodyguard of five mega knobs and we've gone for the twin kill source combination suggestion from ray cross going to give them twin linked a bit tastier in close combat for those that's one of the changes we're going to make uh, then we have a battle wagon across here uh, gone for the enclosed compartment and death roller uh, on that and then shifting to the right hand side some quicker stuff we've got death copters squad of three and then we have two squads of five Storm Boys being taken. And then finally, we have Ripper's Little Helper, he's called. So it's a Death Dread uh, here, going for all of the close combat weapons uh, with him. That's the list for the Orcs. Both of these factions have played their first game and have scored uh, a generally good score. So they'll need to go through, you reckon, uh, an above average to excellent score should put them through. 50 to 60, I think I will. 50 or 60 points will 60 put them for through. Sure. All right. So that we can actually give people that target. Yeah. Okay. Um, both armies, if they hit 60 points each, should go free. They go above Black Legion. Oh. And, and they're in third. Uh, yeah. So if above average, excellent score for either of these, and it'll put them through. If both score well, which could happen, they could both pick up higher scores, uh, then uh, both could find themselves going through to knockout stages. Uh, of the league at the expense of factions such as the craft world elder they could come uh, crashing out being pushed too far down to qualify so key battle here uh, keep a look out for both of these factions pushing to around the 50 60 points mark if they do that uh, they stand an excellent chance of going through so that's the list for the orcs commanders and sub commanders uh, for them uh, louis robinson is an orc player phoenix lords just joined us so put him in charge of the orcs he will be uh, Gut Ripper for this game. And then Casper Kemp for Nork player. Sub Commander will be Grog De Whopper for this battle. That's the lists. We'll take a look at scenario and deployment next for this 2000 points league game. All right, so we have a scenario. Primary mission is taken hold. Mission rule is hidden supplies. And then sweeping engagement is the deployment. So, deployment zone for the Alpha Legion run across here, marked by their dice. A bit sticking out across here. And then the opposite over the other side. So the green dice marking the deployment zone for the Orcs. Usually five objectives on the board with hidden supplies you get an extra objective. So there's six objectives in total. Each of us have a home objective. This one's my one for the Alpha Legion. And then Mike's is tucked uh, behind the containers across there. And then four objectives in no man's land. One here. There was one dead centre, but that's now been split randomly. Uh, to one across here, six inches that direction, six inches in the other direction for the other one. So there's quite a hotbed of objectives there in the middle of the table. And there's one just here. Uh, it's on top of the walkway. 
So for take and hold, very straight forwards, turn two onwards, the end of the command phase, or at uh, the end of your turn, if it's the fifth battle round and you were going second, uh, you get five victory points for each objective marker that you control, up to a maximum of 15 victory points per turn. So grab objectives, hold them, and rake in the points is the aim of the game. That's the mission. Both of us are going to go for the random draw and secondaries. So then just to clarify on terrain, we're going to run these as sealed buildings and containers. As We're going to run them also just to balance the table out and to give uh, a fair chance of units hiding. We're going to run these as obscuring terrain as well. Uh, so the hard edge will go by on the terrain. Uh, we'll give obscuring like so. This is all joined together as one. This is joined together as one across here. We'll run this is obscuring, and we'll go by the hard edge. We're both going to go by this rule, so it's both, as long as both of us are aware. So the hard edge across here. We'll run this as a gap so that you can see through uh, it's under the walkway. Uh, that whole structure obscuring, all of this. Not the small turrets. We'll leave those just regular seal buildings, but not obscuring. Uh, this joined together is one obscuring piece. Obscuring, obscuring. That whole piece, that whole piece. Uh, this hard edge as well, plus the pipes over there, and obviously the building in the middle. Uh, as obscuring also just breaks the table up units are going to have to work their way through the gaps uh, to find their lines of fire that's terrain clarified for this mission both armies ready to go we have ourselves a scenario so we'll now start alternating placing units on the board next i right, just so mentioned the battle mat and terrain that we're using in this game so the battle mat is from gamemet.eu uh, this one i think it's called highlands in war uh, 60 by 44 inches in size so perfect for your games of 10th edition 40k also using some of their pre-painted terrain from the industrial terrain set. So that's those buildings across there, the pipes, the containers over there and the pipes. Uh, all from that set, part of that set being used here on this board. You can check out gamemat.eu. The link for them is below. There's also a discount code for 11% off across the store. They're shipping worldwide uh, as well. So you can check them out for battle mats and also pre-painted terrain sets available from them. And as you can see on this board, we're featuring a number of buildings and all different shapes and sizes, like this imperial base. Uh, and that is the Gothic Sector Battlefield in a Box. And it's the Legion range here. Uh, they come individually boxed. So they come looking something like this. So this is the uh, Sentinel Tower, this one here. Looks particularly cool. This is one of my favourites. There's a smaller set as well. You get two in a set with different weapon options. And you get buildings like these. Buildings like this. And they come individually, so you can pick and choose uh, what combinations you want to go for. As uh, landing pad here, which we put some games workshop as containers on. Large structures like this are actually stacked up too. So we actually put this one on top of here. And in the comments section, people are saying these look very similar to the Dawn of War style buildings uh, from the computer game, which is very cool. Uh, there is, I put the statue inside here, but there's like a defensive uh, network there uh, these buildings they come apart but there's a small landing pad and container there as well so you can check them out they're widely available from uh, all different gaming stores uh, the gothic sector battlefield in the box range uh, i've put a link below for gaming figures they stock them uh, but you can get them from other suppliers as well and the great thing about these is these are pre-painted and these haven't been painted specially for me here on the channel this is the quality that they will come to you uh, in the box. So pre-painted terrain from Gale Force 9. It's the Gothic Sector range uh, and this is the, the Legion set. They've done a variety of different sets uh, but these are all from the Legion uh, set here. So you can check them out. I'll put a link for them uh, below. Alright, so deployment's done. Both sides heavy enough on reserves. So not many drops either. A lot of stuff inside transports. A lot of units off the table. For the Alpha Legion, what do we do? Do we go in a corner? and then get hemmed in by the orcs from all sides. I think they'll play into their hands. Uh, so we have gone for a widespread. We've gone for some uh, reserves as well. So Rhino here, kind of lining ourselves up for objectives. So Rhino here, inside this is the Chaos Chosen, joined by the Chaos Lord. Uh, one Venom Crawler starting on the board. Some subscribers have said, get these on the table active early. So put this one here. Getting ready to lay down some supporting fire. Land Raiders here. At the Dakar Havoc team, Warpsmith next to them. Inside the Land Raider is the Laz Cannon team. So this is going to patrol the center of the, the table, aligning itself up to move out onto that objective. Although we need to be careful if we go after objectives, the Orcs will uh, gladly uh, jump us. Now on the left-hand side here, another Venom Crawler. Uh, chaos uh, Cultists sheltering here for now, getting ready to move out 
on to the home objective. We do have reserves, so Lord Comisca, Lord Comiscus, uh, he has flanking with one of the Venom Crawlers, and deep striking with the two squads of Zinch Terminators. So that's deployment done for the Alpha Legion. So then for the Orcs, they too have spread. Orc boys and trucks are the first to be placed. So one truck here, one truck here, loaded up with Orc boys. Uh, just a correction on the guns, they are split into squads of individual squads. Uh, so one bubble chucker sheltering here, one bubble chucker here. Zog on a flank, where he likes to be, with the bikers. Then the two war bosses together, currently, well, it looks like they're going to part ways to go around this building. So uh, we have Grog de Whopper in here, joining the Mega Knobs. Then inside the Gorkonaut is Scut Ripper and his ten knobs. So double war boss in the centre of the board. Some Death Copters getting ready to move out. And then in reserve is the two squads. These are all inside their transports. Two squads of five Storm Boys to deep strike in, turn two onwards. And then flanking, just to get it up the board and into a good striking position, flanking uh, with the Death Dread. These two sides have never clashed before. Do you want to go first or second? No comment. No comment? Ah, that means you might have a cunning plan. I would like to go first. But what, it, what we like is irrelevant. The dice shall decide. Five, two, you're going first. Can you now reveal whether that's good or...? <laughs> I had no preference at this point. Okay. <laughs> I had a contingency plan for both. <sighs> Orcs are going to get to surge first. All right, we've got to weather the storm, beat back the green tide, and then move on to objectives. I think it's the usual plan if you're going to take on Orcs. We'll see. We'll go on to the first turn of the game. Uh, the Orcs to make the first move in this crucial league battle. Right, so turn one here for the Orcs. Uh, cards drawn his cleanse, which Mike's going to go for straight away. Uh, and then assassination, killing a character. I think he'll happily just most likely dump that one to gain the CP. Uh, Garner stayed on in range of the objective, but moved around the corner just to start some firepower support. These are holding. Mm, not going to commit with those. Going to wait to perhaps rush on to uh, the Chaos Chosen. Uh, the truck's moved out, though, onto the objective. So I've got to do anything else other than perform the action on the objective and cleanse. Uh, he's going to cleanse on the objective that's just, just, tucked under yeah. here. Yeah, and then going forwards with the battle wagon. Uh, the gun in position across here. Truck has moved forwards. Copters have moved forwards. They have advanced. They've advanced to get into that position. Yeah, too far away for cleanse. These two are doing it anyway here and here, so that's that covered. The pivot rule kind of knocks you. Slows them down. Yeah. Lost two inches. Two yeah. inches. So it's one from ten to eight. Okay. And that's about it. A lot of stuff's inside transports. Units off the board. So really there's only about half a dozen things to move around the table. So Orcs making their moves. Nothing crazy at this stage, but certainly pushing up and grabbing three of the no man land objectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because their back end's got that. Grab that one and grab that one. It's tactically strong enough to start off with. We'll go on to shooting phase next. Yeah, so not advanced, ready to shoot. Let's take an hard case. Doesn't have the big gun, but there's lots of dacker and other bits and pieces, including a zap gun to shoot. Are you going to zap my Land Raider? Yep. Go ahead. Two, three, four. I'm going to start with the smally stuff first. Dacker stuff, yep. Yeah. Orc's about to 
do what they do best, waste Ash their ammunition. So <laughs> waste strong. ammunition. Sam, how many shares? No Imperial friends around here. We'll use the Imperial Patreons and for Xenos and Chaos. So, fives. So you're just firing these into the side of the land Raider? Yep. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, six is to win. Uh, strength five. That's 12, or 11 or 10. Oh, not the Land Raider, not the Land Raider, the... Um, oh, this, sorry. Yes, that there. Ah, right, no, yeah, great. Uh, 10. 9. 9. Fives. Fives to win, then, yeah. Nothing. Eight. Okay, just trace around. The Lobber, D6. For a 1. On a 5. Nope. Mm. This is what we're looking for. The green dice or orc dice that is their origin. Zap gun, no miss. Okay, but when it hits, it can do damage five, which is crazy. The strength of the end of turn on D6 plus, plus six. six, yeah, it's good fun. Okay, but uh, no zapping yet. All right, so battle wagons has emerged around the corner. That'd be something for the thousand sons to try and deal with immediately. <clears throat> Uh, action, action, too far away. Looks like Mike has bubble lined chucker. up a bubble chucker. So a debut bubble. So I'm going to turn to the mech guns. Just a correction on the list. Uh, I said bubble chuckers. They are smasher guns. That's what we're switching to. Used to go with the custom mega cans. They're just not very good. AP minus one is dreadful. So smasher gun, I think, is a bit better. So it's D3 plus one. Okay. Uh, for three. Three shots. Needing fours. Needing fours, yep. Okay. Strength. Strength nine. Fours, I think, to wind. Yeah, toughness nine. To Eight. go through. Bit of cover. So I've got a minus two then. Minus two in total? It's minus three. Whoa. Minus two, yeah. Fives it is then. Eesh. No, I don't block any. Six damage. Oof. There's nothing I can do. Ouch. Dropping down to three wounds left. Off to a good start with a smasher gun. That's not bad, is it? Five power support. Mm. Not bad. Okay. Just to give you an idea, if we had a stuck with the custom mega cannons, we would have been on AP minus one, scrubbed for cover. We would have yeah. three up saves, which I would have passed one of those. And that's still whiffy because it's D6. Yeah. No, smasher guns are better go. All right then. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. They don't have assault. Yes. Yeah, advance to them. Uh, they advanced. Uh, no target with, their, with the uh, other smasher gun that's hidden around the corner. Okay, five power is finished. Uh, end of turn. End of turn, yep. Points to trade in. Yeah, so points going through. Four points for cleanse and then dumping assassination. So bear in mind, just keep that in, in your uh, mind that it's 50 or 60 points both of these factions are aiming for. That'll put them in a healthy position uh, in regards to the league. But off the mark here, four points coming through. We'll hand over to the forces of chaos. Uh, next, see what secondaries come up for them and what they do about this orc surge that's heading towards them. We cannot let the orcs dominate the middle ground. At what point do we counter it now or do we hold off? We're going to turn one for the Chaos Space Marines next. So on turn one here for the Alpha Legion, as we're just mid-move here. Extend battle lines, great. So a big incentive to grab an objective and then recover assets in No Man's Land and hold our own. And then recover assets is getting into the different parts of the battlefield, mine deployment zone, uh, it's Mike's deployment zone, also No Man's Land. Again, quite doable, but it all involves us pushing forwards of units. One of the annoying things, let's take, for example, this truck. If I go after Mike with close combat units and close range shooting, um, he could, if I destroy that, he'll just disembark out the back. If I don't go after him and hold back and shoot him, then he'll disembark out the front. And the, the distance is like seven, mm -hmm. six, seven inches, plus three either side. You go to something like this battle wagon. He could, if I destroy it and don't advance, he can deploy up to like here, move, advance with a wag, and he's in. Even if I pull up right to my back line, uh, he's still in. If I do push right forwards to go and get him in close combat and I destroy this, he'll just deploy out the back about 10 inches away, making our charge uh, exceptionally difficult. The difference is about 14 inches, uh, his choice of how to deploy. So that's one of the annoyances. Do we go in? And then he'll just deploy back, warg back towards me. Or do we not go in? And he'll just deploy forwards and then warg anyway. Whichever way we're wagged. 
<laughs> we'll press on with movement here. Tough choices. Uh, and it's going to be painful whichever way we go. So rest of the movement's done. We pay the CP Profane Zeal. Thanks, Gold. Restore three wounds on this model. So back up to six. I'd rather keep him alive. Moving forwards a little bit, but he's just really going to uh, return fire to the smash again. We've gone aggressive. I think we have to. There's no, we're not going to get any rewards for holding back. It's not in our blood to do so. So we have gone for an advanced roll of fives. Disembark three, move six, advance five, 14 inches in total. Um, Captain, all right, Dark Lord Whack-A-Mole moving forwards as on towards the objective in the truck. Rhinos move forwards and perform the action for recover assets. As Land Raider, trying to, the original aim was to go after this. It's too dangerous. It's being watched by a double war boss. So we're just going to hold here. Kind of throwing away this unit. It's not ideal, but the orcs are on us. And we want to lay down some firepower. So disembarking, trying to screen, put some shots in across here. Land Raider, Warpsmith moving around. Moving across with this team, they can get an angle to those rotary blades on uh, the death copters. Moving around onto this objective to sticky and hold. And then moving, you can go 12, so you've gone 10, to pivot and move around to go after the death copters with firepower and maybe close combat. That's movement done. Uh, here for the Alpha Legion. We're going to their shooting phase next. I'm going to dark pack with this and put everything we have into that battle wagon. Dark pack nearly always fails for the narrator for some reason. It doesn't go off. We'll take D3 mortals and of course we max dropping down to 13. Ugh, drop it down to 13, making it a bit more squishy. Press the wrong button, as the orcs would say, something's gone wrong. So that's what you get for dabbling with the warp. We'll go for laser cannon shots. So we're not going to get our pack bound zealots bonus, but we shall select sustained on sixes. And we've been blessed by the warp smiths. We need twos. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's about the worst dice roll ever. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. This is terrible. Edit this out of the, the record here. We'll try and wound. Need a four. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. They're uh, Alpha Legion green dice, right? They look like Alpha Legion uh. dice, but they're actually Mike's <laughs> green dice. I try again. Can I try again? That's better. All right. A whiff. We'll go for some heavy bolter shots. Needing twos, please. Okay. Uh, sustained. Sixes to wound, nothing, as we will shoot with a combi weapon, not a two, a six would be great, nope, and then we have a, a launcher, Havoc launcher, for six shots. Joe, one subscriber, they said, they're not your Xenos dice, are they? <laughs> <laughs> they're certainly not, so twos. And sixes to win. There's two wounds. Yeah, so you can make two saves. I think you're a base of three plus. Yeah. All right, so two three ups. Pass both. What an insult. Land Raider. Utter whiff from that. Okay, I'm sure that's encouraged the Les Cannon team. Mm -hmm. They'll... That's, that's the sweat starts pouring off on that. <sighs> okay. Right, so we'll go for uh, Dark Pact. Goes off on a 10. Four laser cannon shots, they're Nurgle, so fives will pop sustained. One. All hit, but no extras. Fours to wound. <sighs> what can you do? The you odds are I should be doing something. Uh, we'll supercharge with plasma. We may as well, because he'll be, be dead next turn. Two hits. That's sustained. On a plasma. Oh, Nurgle, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, two failures. Please, huzzah, a wound. You get cover at AP minus two, I believe, in total. Minus two in total, so... Uh, five up. No, two damage. Just checking. Plasma gun, supercharge. Yeah, minus three, minus two total. Yeah, we're all good. Mike will be more than happy with that. My intent was to destroy that thing. Just about managed to put on two extra scratches. Not so good. We'll press on here with firepower. We'll go after your grot gun. Grots think they're safe. We'll dark pact with this one. 
Snake eyes, mm. right, that's it. I'm going to go to the Patreons here. So <laughs> D3, don't max. <sighs> Two, it's dropping down to four. Right, Patreon time. I've got a couple of Chaos Space Marine friends. Michael German's one of them. So we'll go with his firepower with excruciator cannons. You get days where you're all badly with your dice. Don't you, Mike? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> okay, join the club. It's not pleasant. Um, we'll go for uh, threes. Uh, we found a dark pact. We'll go for lethals, please. So, this is better. Not bad. Strength six. Toughness five. Toughness five, yeah. Yeah, threes to wound. I don't know if we're going to do this here. Minus one, plus one for cover, so you base save five. five. Yeah, so five dice, steam fives. Each one's damage two. Ooh. So we could get him. Yeah. If you can't kill orcs, pick on grots. I can see two are passed. Yeah. Oh, that's the damage, so you say? There's two each time. Two, four, six, and that would be enough to kill him. Grot's not worth a CP, Mike. <laughs> maybe maybe that grot is, I don't know. Hmm. If Mike rolls one dice, gets a five, he'll keep the gun alive. Yeah, no, no, no. I have uh, three CP left. The probably oh, do you? Should, yeah, pretty sure I'm on the first turn. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Uh, are they all pistols here, is it? Pistols, yes. The only thing I could shoot you with is, is nothing. Um, uh, He's performing action, so he, his yeah. weaponry is not going to shoot. He'll do it. I would do it. If I had three CP, I'd try and keep that gun alive. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Deadly Demise, maybe. No. Okay. Target destroyed. Woohoo. We've got rid of that grot gun. Glad to see that guy. It caused us trouble. Okay. We'll press on with firepower. Um, yeah. We'll go to... We'll do these first. So I will go for lethals with these, just to try and bypass the toughness on these. Toughness six? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll go for a dark pact. We pass this one. Now I'll go no I'll go Nurgle and sustained, because fives are good for us. Hmm. Weird. Looking for threes. Uh sustained. So add those back in. Helps us a bit. We'll try and win here on fives. And we cause four so far, and then the others. Do you know what? Yeah, I need to roll another four because they're eight shots each. So four saves so far. Take that one away. Add into five. So five saves total. So I so five, five, five. This is the other half. I can lay down a blanket of firepower, these guys. Sustained another uh, four for sustained. Five to wind. And five to wind. So nine, ten, eleven. Eleven saves of whatever your normal armor is. I suppose you can take cover as well, actually. So cover plus. So armor save plus one. Probably four up armor save plus one. So yeah. three ups. So eleven saves are three plus. Looking good. Looks like two. Two wounds taken. We'll go here, excruciator can. Uh, we'll dark pact. Goes off. Twelve shots. Okay. I'll go sustained. We're re-rolling once because we passed our dark pact for uh, Chaos Undivided. Uh, so threes and sustained here for an extra. Threes to wind. Come on. This is way better. Uh, nine. 
Nine saves at minus one in the open. So nine saves of five plus damage two. This isn't bad from these Venom Crawlers. They've both performed well so far. Nine saves of five plus. God, that's good dice rolling. Blocked a chunk above average, but it's still enough to maybe wipe. Two, yeah? Yeah. So That kills him. That. Yeah, and then pair them up for four damage a time. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not bad. Okay, this is extreme stuff going on here. Kind of weird. Excruciator cans wiping targets. Uh, it's eight las cans <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. And it doesn't happen too much. What happens now? Him? Mm hmm. What do you mean? Brings me hard. Yeah. Oh, he destroyed something. Yeah. I think it's close combat. Yeah, at the end of the fight phase, which is Ooh, really okay. annoying. Should be shooting as well. Yeah, he gets to add an extra attack. That's a shame. But anyway, he's done his. He's done a good job across there. So well done to the Venom Crawler. Uh, they've been. They proved to be very useful. I put them on flanks. So they can try and stay out of the main. The main fight around here. Uh, so firepower done. Done. Finished here. Finished here. Uh, so not going to shoot here. Finished him. Just got a bit of uh, pistol firepower to do uh, with the Chaos Chosen. Yeah, right, it's, it's going. This is. I tell you, this is one of the weirdest games we've played. That truck's just been destroyed by pistol fire, coming from. You're going to say it's not possible. I'll explain to you what's happened here. But Chosen have fired and have destroyed it. We've stripped away 10 wounds. Uh, Mike's final save was a, a snake eyes coming through from, from two bolt pistol uh, lethal hits that came through. So past the dark pack, went for lethal hits. Hit wounded, two damage from the Chaos Lord. Hit wounded at, and both going through with the two plasma pistols. That's six damage coming through. Uh, then we had combi weapons... Three lethal hits coming through, two of them failed, two wounds left, four bolt pistol shots, two lethals on sixes, two failed saves. We've done it. That's mad. Literally mad. Mike can roll to detonate. Yeah. Nope. And no, okay. So we'll roll. Mike can roll some dice, maybe not roll some ones here for the models inside, and then disembark here as the Chaos Chosen surge forwards. So very bizarre and strange shooting coming from the Chaos Space Range, one extreme to the next. Uh, but we'll let these disembark and then we'll move on to charges. All right. We'll zoom in so you can see what's going on. Mike's just taking the truck away. Boys disembarking. All right. They should be dead meat. We'll go into them with the Chaos Chosen. The problem is the, the WAG revenge that will come their way. But what can we do? We're going to charges next for the Chaos Space Range. Might, uh, Mike lost one model from that squad. The rest have disembarked. Okay. All right. So despite the whiffing, I'd, things have improved for sure. I didn't want the blinders on the blink. The blinkers just going straight ahead. So we veered left with the Chaos Chosen and split our attack. So we've gone for Shreddy type models across here. And then Mr. whack -a -mole himself going into... Uh, the battle wagon along with a couple of power fists in that squad and then why not we've got a power fist here on the squad leader uh, so we've sent him in uh, to close combat as well 14 wounds trying to strip away yeah on that battle wagon we'll see how we do so charge is done cow space trains going after the orcs here they may well regret it but so far so good we're going to comet resolution next with him with those right mike's playing orcs is never beaten uh, we're out of cp but uh, Chaos Lord will use his ability to zero CP add, and we'll go for our detachment uh, strategy and let's Chaos Undivided reroll the wound roll in close combat. So we'll do that with him. We'll also activate his uh, chance for glory. So we're going to, for him personally, we'll increase his attacks by one, his strength, his AP, and damage uh, with his demon hammer. So in he goes. We'll start with him. I'll just show you inside the book. Um, yeah, Profane Zero, I got muddled up earlier on. It's Skin Shift, it's called for restoring wounds. Uh, profane Zero is the rerolls. Uh, it is Pack Bound Zealots, 1 CP. It's for Chaos Undivided, which is what we are. Um, shooting phase or fight phase. And you can reroll hit roll until the end of the phase. Reroll the wound roll, yeah. So it can be very, very useful. Uh, so then we'll turn to the Chaos Lord. 
He's equipped with his demon hammer. Five attacks plus one, so six attacks. We'll do a dark pact first of all. Four lethals, surely. Mm. Or sustained. Sustained. I'll go sustained. Um, that's not going to go off. Six is the best we have. Yep. Yep. Failed. D3. Take a wound. So, the guy on the end's taking a wound. Uh, we, that means we won't get our reroll ones, uh, but we'll still get um, sustained. All right. So, looking something like that. Uh, this one generates an extra attack. And they're going to try and wound here, needing. Top is 12, going to be fives. Rerollable. Sixes are great. <laughs> okay. That's insane. I'll reroll this one. So, yeah, so the, the basic, we'll, we'll cover that in just a moment. So, with uh, Dark Pact, if you pass or fail, you still get the ability. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then with my detachment, I, for me to get my reroll ones, I have to actually pass the Dark Pact. So I have fouls. I can't reroll re the ones, which is a shame. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have uh, damage three, and there's three of them coming through. So that's nine wounds on Devastating, which is crazy. And then this is going to be AP minus three, uh, which will be a six up save. Lord whack a is at it again. And we have used the Chris Comiskey dice here for this. Just to let you know. No, it goes free. So 12 damage, down to two wounds left. He never ceases to amaze me, that Chaos Lord. Uh, he's got some buddies with him, equipped with Power Fist. Only two of them, but they get four attacks each. These will be hitting on threes. Uh, yeah, so I'll take away those. We'll add in two for sustained. Usually we go for lethals, but because we're getting the real wounds, we're trying to generate extra hits. Uh, five to wound. I think we're going to make it go pop. There's three. Three saves at minus two. Uh, three saves of five plus. Three, five plus, yep. On success. Oh, six damage. It goes free. That's a wagon destroyed. And yeah, if it blows, it's going to cause trouble. Yeah. Roll six, I think it's going to be D6. Deadly demise. Yeah. <sighs> No, all right, target destroyed, might crawl up for the models inside. We'll do disembarkation as well. Uh, but Chaos Base Reigns have gone after the battle wagon and have brought it down. Uh, we should be minusing the AP by one, uh, but for the results that we got or the saves that might crawl, it wouldn't have made any difference. So that's the results the same. Uh, there's a one's been rolled, so I think it's a mortal wound caused. Uh, the Mega Knobs and Grog Dewapper can disembark. All right, so all that's been dealt with. I oh, haven't quite finished yet. We've still got. A chunk of the squad to go into the Orc Boys. So, so we've got two Shredders in there. Paired combat, paired accursed weapons of five attacks each. Looking for threes. Uh, there's an extra sustained in there. These are twin linked anyway. Uh, I wonder if we're strength five. I don't think so. We are. And your top is five, right? Fours. You're audible. Oh, nasty. Seven. Seven saves at minus two. Oh, boys. Anything? Nope. Seven dead. Ow. Oh. Got two CP for the. Uh... You did. Oh, just, uh, so you might get to fight before you're removed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll press on then. So we've got a cursed weapons. Uh, we have four of them. This will wipe the squad. Because they're four attacks each. Chaos chosen at full strength. And you see the way the squad's laid out with um, shreddy stuff and anti-tank. Mm -hmm. You can charge two things and, and uh, move models in appropriately. That's useful. Uh, so we're looking at, look at all those ones that could have been re-rolled. Two sustained in there. And then we'll try and win on fives. And again, these are minus two. So it looks like the squad's going to go. I think we've done it. Yeah. 
All right, so squad wiped. Mm -hmm. The nine that remain might kind of roll up four. To activate them to fight back. Make your roll separate for the power claw. And what do you need, fours? Fours, yeah. Yeah. So four up for him, and then it'll be eight others needing fours as well. This is fight on death here with this Orc Boy squad. They may well be able to pick off a few of the camp space friends before they go. Orcs won't like this. It won't go down well. I think it's annoyed Mike, and it's going to annoy the Orcs for sure. Uh, the Chaos Space Marines have got the first blow here, like a boxing match. The first punch landed by them. The Orcs uh, they won't go down well with them. So this is the Chubbers. Needing three. Oh, we activate him first. Fours. No, fine. That's all right. Go ahead. No, it's guaranteed. I, I thought it was four plus to activate models. They're guaranteed. They'll all get to fight here. Okay. Avalanche of attacks them. Sixes are sustained. Looking for threes. One, two, three, four. four. Okay. Strength, four. Yeah, only strength, four. Force to wound. Bit of AP minus one. So we are going to lose some models, I think. We'll get ready of our saves. I'm going to guess six. Mm, looks like there's more. Yeah, there's more. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, four ups. We've blocked most. He's done enough to kill a model and put two wounds on another. So he's going to go and then dropping down to one wound left on. It's going to have to be, can be him over there, like so. Okay. Power claw. Yeah, power claw next. Six is a good. Oof, missed. All right, so that's that result. So that's end of combat. We've consolidated towards the objective. We're going to get contacted, but we may as well die fighting on the objective itself. Uh, end of turn then, points coming through. Recover assets, three points picked up. Uh, so performing actions in two areas, cross here with these. And the Rhino sat there and just moved out onto the objective. Uh, and then five points picked up for extend battle lines, holding, and then moving out and grabbing this one across here. So eight points to four, Alpha Legion. I've got the first blow. Uh, they've picked up more points, but this is just... Uh, the opening turn here. We'll go on to the second turn of the game. We'll move on, see how the orcs respond. Dangerous unit across here. Bear in mind, gut rippers ready to go. Double war boss right in the center of the board. I'll see which direction they go. Surely they'll just seek their revenge at targets that have served themselves up right in front of them. So turn two for the orcs coming up next. One question, you're going to declare a warg? Yep. <laughs> okay, turn two for the orcs next. All right, so move the orcs here on their second turn. Cards drawn, sabotage, and containment to the cards in play. There's plenty of actions to be getting on with. The orcs would rather be fighting if they can. Warg has been declared. Bikers have moved up. This objective is going to fall into their hands. As to maintain the home objective, deep striking, a very useful unit of storm boys. Other unit held in reserves for now. Smasher guns moved out. Uh, to move around this corner. Gorkonauts, uh, it's potentially can charge, but Mike's disembarked with the Knobs and Gut Ripper to take on the Chosen by the looks of it, and also the Havoc Laz Cannon team. And they're not going after these, but moving, potentially advancing with those. Uh, advanced. Yeah, so this is uh, Grog de Whopper and his heavy stuff. Uh, the Mega Knobs getting ready to go into the Land Raider. That's going to be chewy for sure. Uh, Orc Boys surging through to take on the Venom Crawler. The empty truck onto the objective. There's no sabotage as well. That's right. That's going to do the sabotage fine. And then we'll go around the other side of the board and you can see the uh, perspective from uh, the Alpha Legion point of view. So uh, this is what it looks like from our end. Here they come. We paid a CP for rapid ingress. Turn two on what you can do. We've deep, deep struck in here with a squad of Terminators. Okay, getting ready to head off whichever way they need to go. If I deep strike in normally, it's a nine inch charge. If I land, I can gain a few inches in uh, different directions of shooting uh, and then potentially close combat. So that's the idea. I'm going to try and uh, send in one unit to create a bit of relief here for the Alpha Legion at this critical point in the game. So that's movement done. Uh, a bit of rapid ingress at the end here for the Alpha Legion. We've got a shooting phase next for the Orcs. This will just be a, a trifle compared to what's to come. 
in close combat. Mike can see, he can shoot Smasher Gun going into Havocs. So D3 plus one. Uh, blast, yeah, plus you got it. Mm. We'll go Chris Heim. Chris Heim. So D3 plus two. Three shots. Three shots. In fours. Yeah, nice. Two hits. Two. Top is five. Strength nine. Priest wound. Two. Two go through. Minus three. three bit of cover. Three, yeah. Five ups. Block none. Flat three. Straight three. So I'll lose. Lose two last cans straight away. Good work. All right. Next. We will go to the big dude. Gokunot. Yeah. He's going straight into these dudes. Yeah, these. The chosen, right? Yeah. So we've got, well, Mike can pick what he wants to go with here. There's lots of Dacker available. Mm. Right, 30 shots with the main Dacker gun. Yeah. Mega Shooter. Death Storm Mega Shooter. Fives. Fives. Roll 30 dice to get 10 hits. Uh, looking on track here, looking all right. Yeah, above average works it. And then it'll be threes to wound. There may even be a bit of AP minus one gun as well. Yep. Nice half. Keep rolling. Three's to wind. Yep. That's a good number. Four, six, eight. Okay. I'll go for models in cover. Uh, so we'll go for three ups. And we block them all except one, which is enough to slay one model though. So one slay across here. Okay. We'll go for the rocket launcher. Uh, yeah. Two rocket launchers, so it's 2d3 plus blast. Oh, 2d3 plus one each time. So 2d3 plus two. So four shots in fives. That's the one. Uh, two's to wind. Yeah, minus two. Minus two, minus one. Four ups. Blocked. Yeah. Scorcher is D6. D6 auto hits. Four one. Oh. Three up to wind. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Minus one ignoring cover. Four up. Blocked. These dice are fickle. They're doing all right at the moment, though. Yeah. Uh, shooters, yeah, big shooters. Two twin big shooters. Six shots. Two, four, five, six. Do you get more? I think you might get double that. No, it just says uh, two twin big shooters. Yeah. yeah. So a twin big shooter gives you... No, it's rapid fire. Yeah. Two, so another four. Oh, four. Okay. So fives. Two. two. Three's to wind. Yep. Yeah. Three ups. Failed one. Another wind caused. I don't know, we've got a lot of bodies. If we can give the order, protect Lord Whack-A-Mole. If we can sacrifice ourselves and keep the Chaos Lord alive, we could whack all right. But there's a ton of attacks coming from Gut Ripper Squad, Full Squad of 10. Yeah. All equipped to Power Claws. Yeah, 10 slugger shots. This is coming from the knobs. Five spits. Four to win. A wound. Three up. Failed. Dropping down a wound. Okay, down to one wound left on one of those models. Three wounds each to absorb well. What was? Yeah, she's got Ripper himself. She's got himself a hit. Fours. Fours to wound. To one night. Yep. A wound. You might kill one. He does. <laughs> Ripper like that. Take that, you get. That's one. Right, firepower coming from the bikes now. Starting with the Death Killer War Track. AKA Zog. So it needs toys. Zog is Gut Ripper's cousin. Threes. That's why we call him Cousin Zog. Head. Just the one. Twice no removed. AP. One comes straight. Uh, no AP. Yeah. No, I passed. 
And then I'll do the killer jet, the burner. Yep. That will be D6 attacks. Three. Strike five, threes to wound. Yep. One. Minus one? Minus one wound damage. One wound caused. We'll go here on this one. I think we have two just for coherency. Right, 30 shots. This is from the bikers, name vibes. Some. There's a few more down towards Mike, okay. Now be three twin twin linked. Okay. Two, four, seven, minus one. Not bad. Uh, four ups are in the open it. Block five. Two wounds. So one slain and then a wound on another. Okay, it will take close combat to eliminate these. Chaos chosen models, the bodyguard still remains. Yeah, and that's all shooting done. Whoa, that's all shooting done. Now you can go here. Uh, advanced. advanced. Right. In which case, yeah, we'll go for charges. Next. This is a, a key point for the orcs. The the charges are very exceptionally likely to go ahead. That's not the problem. It's can they take down targets? I think they can do really well. If they don't, um, and they keep taking casualties, they took heavy enough casualties on turn one. If the Alpha Legion can do that again, uh, there'll be trouble for the orcs. But uh, the momentum is swinging back with the orcs now. They have the initiative. It's going to be their charges. They're fighting first. Mike's lined up good targets and real potential. But we'll see which way... This goes, we'll roll up charges next. Just don't, I'm not going to say it, just don't roll up. Oh, I seen the first one, the other one would stop and I think, yeah, one yeah. and a four. All right, this charge goes ahead. So this charge goes ahead, these two making base with a pile of move, they'll all get in. Mike can roll around this way. Uh, and then we've just gone in here with a Gorkonaut. Mike's going to do tank shock. Yeah, it's got the 12. 12, <laughs> 12 dice. So, boy. Is it capped? Please tell me it is. Uh, the max is six. All right, okay. Good chance of getting sixes. Uh, fives. Yeah. Just two. Just the two. Whoa. Right, it's another model slain though, and a wound on another, dropping down to two wounds left. They're not folding. They're selling their lives dearly for sure. Yeah. Add uh, knobs going in next. Cure, they're up for 11. Uh, um, charging pool. Both, yeah, sure, you can wrap around the whole lot here. This is, uh, we're going to get surrounded. Okay, charges have all gone ahead. Bikers have gone in here. Mega knobs, knobs, massive roll for them. Gorkonaut's gone in. I can't interrupt play. Boys have gone in across here. So, so far, so good. Charges were easy enough and they've all gone in. So, pick any fight you want. I can't do now. Well, no. Still couldn't do it. My user stratagem. For zero. Yeah, yeah. I could interrupt play for zero CP. No, we'll just follow on. That's two CP. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I can reduce the stratagem by one. I got no CP, so I couldn't interrupt play with the captain uh, or the chaos lord because I don't have enough CP. In which case, you're free to fight first, everybody. Yeah. So let's start here. Start with the Gorkonaut. And what I will do is. Yeah, which type of attack? I'll go for the 15, I think. Okay. The strength fades, so we win the non twos anyway. Yes. Minus one and flat two, so. That's all right. Yeah. Nicholas Lucas dice being used. His attacks coming in from the Gorkonaut. Some bonuses going on because of the Warg. I have to say, Orcs, they put dreadful pressure on you with this headlong assault. So speedy across the board. So, yeah, 16 attacks. Hit non twos. Because I called the wire. Sixes or pop extras? Yeah. I just need to find any sixes of one. Okay. Two's to wound. Two's to wound, yep. Yeah. This could be a good enough strike. Oh, there's an absolute load of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Four ups for minus one. Uh oh. We're all about average. So that's going to slay the model with two wounds left. And then we're going to lose another one, two, 
three after that. That's a really good hit. So he's gone. And three more bodyguard, which is going to strip me right down. One, two, and then sadly we're on to a power fist, guys, now. So, excellent strike. Well done, Gorkonaut. I think that really has tipped that combat nicely in your favour. Down to Gut Ripper and his team. Should be enough, I reckon, to finish off the Cow Space Rains. We'll uh, zoom in here, the Chosen Squad. That's the fight. Yeah, so... Good battle. Oh, the two warlords collide as well. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Having the initiative is everything here. It really does make such a huge difference. Use knobs first, strip away all the bodyguard and units, mm. and then gut rip a one-on-one -on -one with Lord Whack-A-Mole. Yeah, gut rip may, may not need to add, do attacks here. It may well be enough just to bring these down with the knobs. Uh, so we have, uh, Mike's going to go five on five, so five of them, three attacks each, maybe even four. The power claw, is it? Yeah, power claws, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. four because of the wire. Oh, no. 20 attacks then into the Havocs. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I think hitting on threes because of the war boss being with you. Yeah. We are dead meat. So, yeah, because I've got the war bosses, I want to hit rolls. Sure. Go ahead and hit threes. So the Dave Humphreys dice being used, very appropriate. Dave plays forks. Six sub hop extras. Ones and twos can be removed. We found a home for your green dice. That's a horrific amount of ones and twos, but yeah. because you, <laughs> because it's hawks with so many attacks, it kind of, kind of covers it up quite well. The green dice is not so good when it's like a las cannon shot. It's like, oh, keep missing. But when you've got fistfuls of dice, and it obscures it quite nicely. These will be strength 10. Two's to wound. Two's. Oh, man. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. 13 saves at minus 2. Minus 2. Havocs be dead. They're gone. They're destroyed. And Mike can rinse and repeat with 20 attacks against what's left of the Chaos Chosen, which is one bodyguard model and the Chaos Lord himself. Okay. Really good so far. Uh, threes. Knobs of a war boss. They are kings in close combat if they can strike first. As tons of sixes. Three, four, five. Okay. Two is again now. Yeah? Yes. Twenty-one hits, twenty-one wins. Twenty-one wins. I right. I missed with. Yes. Because it's twos to win. Oh. Two to win. Right. Okay. We've paid a CP. We have used our zero CP for eternal hate, it's called. Um, <laughs> it lets us, the last thing that we do, it lets us fight on death, but it's on a four plus. Lord Whackamore's got a 50% chance of saying goodbye with style. We'll do 21 saves though, first of all. So we'll do two at five plus. Okay, that's the end of the bodyguard. It's Chaos Chosen destroyed. And then Lord Whackamore simply needs to make 19 saves of four plus. I'll roll 10. He did. Uh, his friend, before he died, doesn't fight back. Uh, Lord Whack-A-Mole himself will go to Blood Angels Ryan, how corrupt, to see if he fights. He does. <laughs> okay, five attacks. Just roll this down, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, I need threes. Uh, well, Dark Pact, right? Every time you get to shoot or fight. So to talk about uh, the, the fight on death. I'd, I don't think I could have done it. It's not going to apply... I called it when Mike attacked me here with the knobs. It's not going to apply for the Gorkonauts attacks coming through because it's a separate combo, I reckon. In which case, it is only the Chaos Lord who can fight. We check the rules. The, up, uh, the release from his workshop, you cannot dark pact. dark pact because I'm not selecting to fight. It's a special rule that's letting me fight before I die. So we're going to go for five attacks and then threes. That's a shame because I can't even go for sustained. Yeah. And get our hits. Which oh, how nice. I wish we could have done. Alright, so five hits. Give me five sixes to say goodbye. 
two, maybe three. What's the strength of the hammer? Strength of eight, no, it's going to be threes. Uh, one devastating. So we're looking at one save at minus two. You can go to your Wagi five plus invulnerable save on the bodyguard. Yeah. Just one. Nope. No. So two damage. Knob dead. Yep. And devastating wounds on knob up. So two knobs slain. So pro probably worth. Well, it was zero CP to do it. So two models gone. So it would have been forced to wound. The two wounds still went through, no problem. I uh, would have been forced though because you're bodyguarding a character and it's minus one to the wound roll. Two knobs slain, still eight of them left with their uh, very happy gut ripper for sure. Yeah. Attacks down here. Two lots of 18 for sluggers and choppers. Mike Fry. Mike Fry, Space Marine player. These are my reserves. These are my casualties, including my beloved Chaos Lord. Okay, uh, threes. All right. One to stand. Uh, five to win. Strength five, yep. May well be able to grind this thing down. You can see five, six. That's a real good start. That's a really good start. Where are you, Carl? There he is. Carl Roden. Call upon the Tyrannic Chitin. Or ups. Come on, Carl. No! <laughs> Five wins left. Oh, no. You have a half? I thought I was going to survive this. Three's to hit. Six is pop. That's oh. it. And add those two in. Five's to wound again. Need a poor roll if we're to stand a chance. Fives, 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 there's three. Okay, four ups. Oh, we do block two. One more wound taken, so we could survive. We could survive. Down to the power claw now. Three attacks, four attacks on the warg. Some sixes would be useful, Mike. One sustained. You could be up to strength nine, force to wound. Strength ten. Go ahead, three to wound. <gasps> One mm. comes through. That's two. Nothing you can do? Mm. Five up. Oh, <laughs> two wounds left. We'll get to fight. We're not too scary in close combat, dropping down to two. But we have survived, crucially, the Venom and Crawler. Okay. The bikes. The bikes will switch right over to the other side. Yeah. To crack open a rhino. Party move made. Bikers are to attack the rhino. I think there's a fair chance they'll bring it down. Uh, we are looking at five regular bikers first of all. And Mike's going for, we're using up the Imperials here, it's the Valgum, Field Marshal, Robert and Dice. Yeah, so four attacks now, hitting on twos. Because of the Death Claw Water. We call out Patreon, gold level Patreons in every battle report. You've got themed dice, you let us know your faction allegiances, and then we call upon your dice at critical points. So you can support us that way on the channel. Uh, it's much appreciated for those that do. Uh, link for Patreon uh, below. And here it comes. And then you're also on the Discord. Yes, yeah, and any Patreon supporters join us on the Discord as well. Down to nine ones and twos. There's a one in there I can see. Yep. yep. Some sixes. Michael add some dice to those. And they're all good, yep. Uh, five to win. Yeah. Some, mm. not many. Four, five. Five minus one. Four ups. Block three. Two wounds taken. Rhino's in pretty good shape at the moment. We're down to eight wounds left. Okay. One, two, three, four for the power floor. Now hitting on threes. Not bad. Strength ten, one on threes. Three to wound, yeah. Whoa, just the one. Block on a five, no. Two. Damage, yeah. Dropping down to six. Okay, cousin Zog next, all down to him. Yeah, three, four, plus one for the last five. 
Hitting on hand or hands, hitting on twos. Twos, super sixes would be great. Ah, uh, triple one. Yeah, too much to ask. Threes. Good. Minus two. Five ups, come on. None, snake eyes. Four damage. Four damage, drop down to two wounds left. Anything else? Just a throw out a uh, land raider now. All right, this one. Land raider. Can we withstand the mega knobs? Thanks to Ray Cross and his suggestions, they have been re-equipped with twin kill saws. Yeah. Um, Ray says, he says, like, Luke, take the kill saws. They chew through stuff. So I was like, okay, Ray, no problem. And now it's been used against my <laughs> land raider at last. Use the Ray Cross dice. Well, good good for you, Mike. Good thinking. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Ray will be watching, hopefully, and uh, he'll, he'll relish this opportunity. So... Here we go. Start chewing. Yeah, no devastating wounds, but we'll see. Uh, five of them. They're all in close combat. They're all in range. Uh, so we can now go for the attacks of those. So three attacks each. Okay, 15 attacks. Need threes. It's 13 wounds to try and get through. Take away the ones and twos. Okay, there's a couple of sixes. So it's okay. What is your strength? Is the question. It's no strength, but D. <laughs> How? Because of the wire. So your strength twelve normal. Yeah. The wire has plus one strength. Plus nice. One strength. Oh, fantastic. Okay, you can see the wisdom of Ray here. Three still going re-rollable, right? Yeah. <laughs> This is much better for the Mega Knobs. They did struggle with the previous combination. Now the reroll. Generates another three, which could be the tipping point to destroy the vehicle. Six, nine, ten, eleven. And the AP's minus two, I believe. Minus three. Minus three. Oh. <laughs> uh, fives, where are we going to go? We're going to die. We need a miracle. Um, well, it is Longbow BB, usually for firepower, but we'll call upon him for some, some toughness of armor now. Come on, need a miracle and a half. <gasps> Breathe, miracle. Whoa. <laughs> what have we got here, Gandalf? <laughs> Seven saves <laughs> out of 11. Eight damage comes through. We live. We live. Uh, down to five wings left, right. No, we live for a fleeting moment because you've still got your Ed Whopper's Whopper Whopper. No, he doesn't have that upgrade. He's just got a huge, huge chopper. Four attacks plus one? Mm -hmm. Or three attacks plus one? Four. Keep a sixes. This is a chance for glory. Oh. Grog to Whopper. If he can... What a Whopper this would be if he can bring a land raider down. Stand clear, lads. <gasps> oh, no, but he is hitting them. Two? Threes. Threes. No, two. Yeah. That's what I don't want. Whoa, six hits. What strength is he? Thirteen as well. Oh no. And he goes to damage three as well. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Oh nothing. And he doesn't need to reroll. No. Three, six. Six. There's devastating wounds, it might get rolling in, so it's all down to saving throws now. AP minus three total. No, minus two. He's minus three plus. Four ups. Uh, I need no miracle. No. We'll go one at a time. Evil. Failed. Passed. Passed. It's three left. <laughs> Failed. Passed. Oh, please. Oh, come on. Come on. Something we can do about this. This can't happen. Nope. It was our dark pact that uh, messed us up. I was thinking to myself, why didn't he... Do repairs. But he hasn't had a chance. Yeah. There's no time. <laughs> okay. Ah oh dear. Okay. Target destroyed. We almost destinate, but no. Land Raider's gone. And that's not a good sign we lose it so early on in the battle. So target destroyed. We almost survived that. Uh, but thanks to Ray, it died. So good job. Well done, though. Good work from the Mega Knobs. That is, that's now a dangerous unit.
They're yeah. very dangerous. If they can hack down a land raider, they can hack down. If you roll a dice, pretty much anything. It's definitely dangerous. Yeah. Well. Yeah. With Xenos dice, but yeah, your your dice roll is fine. Okay. Good work. Good chewing work from those. And they're a menace. They're going to be hard for the Cow Space Marines to get rid of. All right. So, as uh, end of turn, we've done our attacks and killed a boy. Uh, rolled a wound, uh, but Mike passed. That's it. Pathetic response from the Chaos Space Marines. Uh, then points coming through. Low score. Five points of primaries for the Orcs. Three points for sabotage, then dumping containment. Score is low, which works well for the other factions who are currently sitting qualified uh, at number eight or above in the league. If these, It's because these two sides are slapping into each other here. Uh, not able to dominate the board at this point in the game. That's keeping the score low for both of these factions, which is helping these uh, other factions that already played uh, their games and sitting higher up. So what we need is a breaking point in this battle for one of these factions to really surge. Uh, it looks like the Orcs could do that. Uh, they have smashed the Alpha Legion here very hard indeed, but the battle's not over yet. We've got reserves to arrive. The Terminators that were brought in by Rapid Ingress, they are spot for choice. Which way to go? This way is death. This way is easy, but death later. Or across here, uh, death perhaps two times later on. So whichever way we go, uh, we see doom. But we shall fight on regardless. We'll go on to the second turn of the game for the Alpha Legion coming up next. Uh, it's turn two for the Alpha Legion. Uh, cards is no prisoners and engage in all fronts. Uh, we're looking at options across here. I'm just going to try and move through these, which I can. I can move through models, but because I've done that, uh, I will need to take a, a desperate escape test. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and uh, pass my morale because of my damage. This will give you the idea of how it's going for us today. We need a six or more. We get a six. All right, so we're not battle shocked. I'm going to uh, make a desperate escape test, and we just don't roll a one or a two. And I'm I'm not going to take the blame for this. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to blame a Patreon, and we'll go to. Oh, it's just in my head to use it. Use the force, Luke. Ooh. Darth Windu. Uh -oh. Don't roll a one or a two. Oh. oh, okay. Play the CP. Add four. A stratagem called Terrifying Refrain or Torpifying Terrain. It's in your movement phase. One hero take a starter unit from your army. At the end of the turn, units eligible to declare a charge in the turn in which it fell back. No, no. You can shoot on top of that, in which case I don't want to charge. I'm not really interested in doing that. So we'll leave it. We'll save the CP for something else. I thought it was either choose either shoot or charge, yeah, but it's I not. You it's you have to charge, and then if you slash, you yeah. then get to shoot as well. So we'll leave it, and we'll just do our desperate <clears throat> escape test. So it's a simple move. We've got 12-inch move. I'm just going to land on top of this objective and uh, snatch it back from the orcs for a moment. So Alpha Legion turn two. There's no cause for us to give up. Uh, we have, do have assets available. And been heartened a bit more since the arrival of some reserves. No prisoners engaged in all fronts, which we're going to pursue points here. I'm not get sucked in trying to deal with this. We're going to bypass and carry on as if they're not there. We're going to ignore them. Uh, so we have uh, push forwards here, going to try and shoot and charge, try and cause as much damage as possible, pulling back with a rhino. Uh, a bit of help's arrived. The third one's turned up just here to lend some firepower support. Warp Smith's run as fast as his little legs can carry him. He's run across in this direction. Gambling that Mike's probably not going to be interested in is going to head off in a different direction with the Mega Knobs. I don't want to go after them. The Wag's on. There's in one saves. There's a four up. Feel no pain. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to get sucked in against those. We're just going to try and move away from them. 
Sometimes you just have to walk away from a fight that you can't you can't win. Um, so Terminators have instead gone for a softer target and an objective. We've moved across here to put some Dacker into those. Cultists have moved through. They got pistols and combat weapons to try and go after the boys. Uh, and then we've seen the move there to grab and uh, snatch that objective over on that flank. And then, so Mike's look, looking for rapid ingress opportunity. I'm not sure if he's going to do it. We're just going to call upon or call out the last of our moves, which is the Terminator sneaking right into this corner. 185 point unit turning up here. Their idea is to put some firepower down, a bit of disruption. And again, trying to stretch the orcs in different directions so they can't apply themselves fully uh, in one certain part of the board. Are you rapid ingressing? I can think about that one. Um, and then we'll, once no, Mike's no. leave it. Okay, yeah. so I think movement's done. Uh, there's two options for the Alpha Legion. Good way for them to go. We've kept the Lord Discordant off the board. I don't quite need him yet. So we're going to keep Comiscus off the table at this stage. All right, so we're going to start with shooting. Um, we'll go to the Terminators over there. I'm going to Dark Pact with them, and they're going to offload all they have into those Storm Boys. So the Dark Pact goes off. Oh, I'd say it does. They're up for the fight here. Uh, goes off in a 12. Okay, so we'll go for... We'll go for... We'll go Lethals then. Uh, we're Zinch. It's going to go off on fives. We'll play into our strength here. Um... We are Terminators, so we've made a Dark Pact, and we'll reroll the hit roll as well. This is actually the Reaper Auto Cannon. Uh, we'll reroll the hit roll, dear me. Just the two. This is Travis and Jen, five pounds, so Jen first on the Auto Cannon. So one of those was Lethal Roll to five. I was going to try and win now on a three. Uh, yeah, so two go through. Here, I guess your invon save rolls on, so five ups. So two five ups here on Storm Boys. There's no guarantee we're going to kill them, especially on that kind of dice roll. We'll pass both. Ha! <laughs> uh, rapid fire with combi weapons, in fours. Yep. Rerolling. We need something better than that. No good. Uh, one lethal. Sixes would be great. Four, so maybe it can't be four and, yeah, look at that. Horrific. One lethal. And you make a save of five plus. Terminators are whiffed. I get any block that one as well. Oh. It maybe works in my favour because it gives me a nine-inch charge. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> Terminators may be wanting to go for a charge. Okay. Uh, trying to ignore these. Pulled back. We'll offload into, into there. We'll dark packed. We've got to. Much must be risked. We've passed. We'll go for sustained against these bikers with 12 shots. We'll call upon a Patreon. Nate Miller for this one. We need his help for this firepower. This is quite important. Looking for threes. Sustained we're going for. Reoring ones for undivided. There's loads of twos in that. Weird. Yeah, it's just weird. All of those. We'll add in uh, two though for sustained. Try and win your threes. Strength six. Toughness six. Is it? Yeah. That's very annoying. Add minus one. No cover because we're point blank here. Minus one, so five ups. Five ups. Three dice and five ups. We're going to struggle against these blanks. That blocks two more. Inc insane. Incredibly insane. So two wounds caused on a bike. I think they're three wounds yeah. each. So we're going to absorb that very nicely indeed. Uh, next, we'll fire across here with these. We'll dark pack for sustained. Nurgle. Goes off nice and 11. This is half the shots. Reaper chain cannons. They're built to clear orcs. So we're looking at threes. Nice. And sustained on five pluses for Nurgle. So another four. I'll add those back in. Uh, force to wound. Uh, seven saves by the looks of it. Yeah, seven saves, probably a five plus. Yeah. And then we'll let Mike roll here and then we'll go again with the other half. Ooh, six make it free. Then we'll go with these. Taking away the ones and twos. 
adding in another four for sustained. Many on fours. Nice. Good work, lads. Daka, daka, daka. We have scored uh, nine, nine more saves to make. I think we've done enough to hose it down that squad. Yep. There you go, on the right target, destroy good firepower from these. So we've since gone ahead and fired the Terminators, caused two wounds, devastating wind uh, coming through, and a flame wound coming through as well. Let's drop it down to eight left. The Dark Pact passed with him, we've got to put the shots into the bikers, literally no point going into those. Uh, and we'll go for Max Sword Knuckles with our firepower, 12 shots. Uh, we'll go for sustain. Rerolling ones. Nice. We'll take away the ones and twos. Uh, we'll add in four. Four sustained. I like the Venom Crawlers. They're fast. Their firepower's great. We're looking for fours. Yeah, toughness six. Fours to wind. Just as I sing their praises, they're struggling to wind. Five wounds come through. Minus one. There's the wild going on. Mike can make some saves here. We're struggling to get these bikes though. Um, Brushing past the cover. There's the invent save as well. Yeah, so minus one plus one, so fours. Yeah. All right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, on all of them is fine. You're catching cover, it's all good. So four ups on five dice. Right. Uh, block two. So we're going to put two wounds on one, slay a bike, and then just roll the one onto another model. That's it. Okay, almost killed two, but one model slain. So interesting, with shooting's not been too bad. We'll go for charges next. All right, charge phase. We'll go to the terminators in the corner. Which I'm going to do. Stop to make me resist the reroll. I'm going to get killed first. Uh, we're going to charge here first. And tank shock to make sure I use tank shock to resist the reroll over there. <laughs> it's probably the wrong way around. So we're going to charge, roll our charge <laughs> for the Terminators, right? <laughs> I got a 10. <laughs> so this is a charge across here. So we go in. I think we have to charge. I was not going to bother, but we'll go in. Then we're going to tank shock you for a CP. Uh, toughness nine, right? So we're getting nine dice. Mm -hmm. Name fives. Well, some kind of brilliant miracle here. We'll turn to mid. Night. No, we'll save Midnight Miniatures because he's an orc player. Um, ah, a pirate. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Mitch, not key for Rob. Give me a load of fives. I, yeah, I, will, I will take that. That's insane. Thank you very much indeed. Five mortal wounds. And that will kill two bikes. That is a significant result. Yet again, that pirate dice. For whatever, whichever way you need it, uh, it usually does something pretty good. Well, well, well. Venom Crawlers here. They really are helping this Alpha Legion army out. That's gone ahead. The Rhino fell back. I can't get around here. There's not enough of a gap. We'll do the easier charge then. To, dare I say it? Terminators. Just be careful. Here we go. Into the truck. Seven. All right. So they could be really out of the picture if their charge doesn't go ahead. That's gone ahead across there. Uh, a nine-inch charge would, would be good news. For us, for sure. What do you reckon, Mike? I see a five. See a five. Four. <laughs> Got it. All right. Send them in. Terminators on the move. Just stead ahead. In they go. They'll take that opportunity. We did say that they let the orcs off for firepower, so they could make their charge, and they have done it. All right. There's some good news here for the Alpha Legion, there's no doubt about it. We've had some good results, good results across here. Venom Crawlers, their firepower's been good, and a number of key charges have gone ahead. And a crazy pirate result there with a tank shock move from a humble Venom Crawler. We're going to close combats. How many CP have you got for interrupt? Two. You do have two, so you could interrupt play. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. In which case, sure, we must go this one first. So we'll dark pack, it's just we'll keep the craziness going. Past. I'm going to go for sustained with its attacks. 
and we'll turn to, we'll save you one Patreon, we'll go to Martin Vagabond uh, for this one. And we're looking for threes. Crucially, we'll re-roll ones. Okay, no sustained coming through. Five hits. Fours to wound. We've got to roll well, we've rolled poorly. One comes through at minus one. So you can go to a five plus invulnerable save. Or a five plus. Yeah, either way. And blocked. No impact. Tragedy. Okay, run out of steam across here. We may well should pay a price for that. Uh, so the question is, do you want do you want to interrupt play no. with Storm Boys? No, Mike's going to leave it. In which case, uh, a three-inch piling move mm -hmm. with the Terminators should put them all in quite comfortably. Mike will just push them in for us. So Terminators around the corner. I've got to wipe our target, then we can move on to the objective. We're trying to dark pack here, and we've failed. Great. So we'll take D three. Yeah. Um, the Could guy the with the axe over there. Yeah, yeah he's going to have to go. Yeah. Four of them left. We'll keep going. So we'll turn to the Shredder here, first of all. We'll do his attacks. Five attacks in total. Reroll on the hit roll. No, 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 no. You should make a dark pact. You can get a dark pact, but you haven't succeeded in the dark pact, so you still reroll your hit rolls. Yeah, yeah we're cool. Okay. Uh, and we will choose to go for sustained. So threes. All of them with two. Cool, he could single-handedly get the squad here. Force to wound. Twin linked. Nice. Four at minus two. So four five plus invulnerable saves. Did you say four, yeah? Yeah. Four one. Four go through. So it's just the knob left. In which case we'll put just looking to see, yeah, it's going to be three power fists. Looking for threes. Rerolling. Re wow. A sustained. Uh, threes. Load of ones. Four have made it through. Uh, two damage and a minus two. So I need to get. Is this a very nice fault? Yeah. To pass all of this. Need to pass all of them. Yeah. yeah. Four or five ups. No, right. Nope. Chopped. So consolidation move made, I'll just go <clears> there <throat> so you can see, <clears throat> heading off towards the objective, and they have claimed it. So so far so good. We're now trying to take on the truck. We'll dart packed across here. That goes off on a seven. And we'll go for we're up against vehicles now, so we're gonna try and go for I'll do sustain. I like the idea of extra attacks. So we have two power fists. Do those first. Oh, that's nice. Um, and they'll reroll these two. Okay. Uh, add three in for sustained. And we'll go for force. Yeah, force to wound. Ooh, tasty. Six saves. Uh, oh, five plus. Each one's damage two. Yeah. Blocked. Two, two, six, eight. Gone. Mm -hmm. And then detonation. Oh, it does. <laughs> How much? Must be D3. Yeah, I guess only a one for the truck. D3, sorry, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Two. two. Oh. oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> Do I blow up? No. I'm dead, Mike. I've only got two wounds left. So he's gone. And he calls two here. It's down to one wound left on a model. <clears throat> and we'll go for this model across here. Okay. Gotta say, Mike, this table's empty and fast. <laughs> this units are dying very quickly. Uh, Mike can make his attacks back across here. Yeah. Uh, should be alright. You can go for Zog first, whichever order we want to go, but. Yeah, I'll start with him first, yeah. So your wild ability is still on? Still on, yeah. Alright, go ahead. Two, four, five. I'm about to lose two Venom Crawlers, that's a shame. Hitting on twos. Um, we'll gain midnight now. Yeah. Uh, it's midnight miniatures now. Twos. So 
So the two sustain. Yeah, perfect timing. Yeah. Three's to end. Strength eleven now, yeah. Need a miracle yet. Well, three have failed. Three go free. Minus two, two damage. Minus two. You actually have a built in five plus invulnerable save. Which we fail all of them. And do we blow up? Of course we do. And please tell me it's not D3. Of course it is. And please don't roll a five plus. Roll a four, which is still just as bad. Does the rhino blow up? No. All right. Destroyed everything. Goodbye, What's goodbye, two? goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> so they're all gone. Uh, D3 on you. We blew up. Yeah. What'd you roll? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> One, of course. <laughs> well, we're dropping down to two. Oh, bike is on the objective, and all of a sudden, everything's cleared away. Stuff is dropping like flies here. The casualties are piling in at this stage. Both sides. Casualties are horrific. End of turn. Surely nothing left? No. Everyone's separated uh, here by bodies <clears throat> and burning yeah. wrecks in between. We'll give you an update on the score here. Utter butcher's work. What do you expect? Chaos space reigns against orcs. Uh, it is a butcher's job, for sure. All right, so end of turn. Points-wise, not too bad. Occasional fronts worked out well for us. No, Mike, it's less. Oh, yeah, because Stuff died. died. Yeah, I'll recalculate this. Yeah, so two points for occasional fronts, not four. Five points, though, for no prisoners. Destroying a unit here, the truck and the storm boys. Um, and five points for primaries as well. So taking us to 20 points. 20 points to 12. Alpha Legion are ahead. Uh, we'll go on to the third turn now, middle stage of the battle. This is dropping down to like a 1,000 point, 800 point game. Uh, casualties is running very high. Uh, we'll go on to turn three for the Orcs. Resources left, very strong units running across here. Uh, a useful bike unit, but they're on objectives, so we'll see what they decide to do. Uh, and then Alpha Legion, they're on objectives. We're on a home objective, but it's not safe. We're on this objective, it's certainly not safe. We're on an objective around the corner, but again, that's not safe. So we'll see what Mike decides to do. May as well see his units go out and a number of smaller battles uh, begin to escalate on the board. We're going to turn three now for the Orcs. All right, so movement here for the Orcs on their turn four. Yeah. Three? Three. Turn three? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we're seeing reserves uh, having to turn up here. So Megadobs have moved around. Mike's played a strategy at the start of your turn for plus two to the charge and advance. And advance but you can't advance the charge. You've just gone for a move and then you'll just use the plus two to the charge. That's really going to help out. Now our objective really is in trouble. Uh, Nobs moving across here. Terminators should be in a heap of trouble for sure. Uh, turning up here, straddling in between these two uh, with the Death Dread. Bikers have moved through. I overwatched. Dark Pact successful, two hits, sustained, four hits, three wounds. Mike made two sixes and a five, so he's blocking damage from coming through. So no further damage coming through from the bikes. So they'll cause trouble for this and him. And he could potentially charge across there. Storm Boys, I think you deep struck them in just now. Yeah. yeah, so moving off with the bikers, then deep striking with those. It's very, very useful to have those small squads of five. They are useful for sure. And then I, I use my CP for Overwatch and the Lord Discordance going to have to walk in on turn three and that's about it so we are on objectives so i think we're going to get kicked off these two it's very useful having the terminators over in that corner at least we're looking for quiet corners just to exist but orcs are making noise across the board we're going to their shooting phase next so uh, shots going into the terminators across the back there so d3 plus one yeah three, three. and even four yep Yep. Just the one. And then two strength nine. Yeah. Uh, no, one. Uh, threes. Um, Top is five. Oh, that is strength nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. No firepower from them, but a bit of DACA from him. Not quite. Uh, no firepower from these. <clears throat> Knobs have a little bit. No. These ones. Yep. Um, has he got. Bone operative. He does. On his own, or does he need to be within a vehicle? Oh. He needs to be in range of a vehicle. Yeah, just for this good boy. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. Fair enough, go ahead. Come on, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes, he can be seen by his Land Raider friend. 
uh, he can be seen for sure. 20 dagger shots to go after the Warpsmith. Even fives. Yeah, fives for hits. Do you know what? The Warpsmith ain't half bad. He's got a base of a two-up armor save. I had threes. He's just currently unemployed, but he's seeking employment, heading off towards a, the last vehicle left on the board for us. Blue toughness is four, is it? Toughness four, yeah. yeah so threes. Raised to end. Minus one plus one for cover. And four saves of two plus. Passed. So far. I think it'd be able to range for... Rockets. I think they're in, but we'll check. Yeah, rockets are in. A few inches to spare. Two, three. Three shots. Okay. Steam fives. Nope. Nothing. Three. Dozen shots, I think. For the... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, That's yeah. Big yeah. shooters. Fives. A hit. Uh, threes to wind. Rerollable. It's a wind. Two up. Fast. Yeah. <clears throat> right, good for you, Warpsmith. Five power for them done. Uh, bikers? Yep. Him? Yep. Grenade strike. Again, every time. Yeah, well, they can do it. Go ahead. You got your CP? You got down to one. Okay, down to one. Okay. Three, four, six. Into the Warpsmith? Yep. Oh, it's just... How many ones has he got? He's got four wounds, you could kill him. Uh, That'll be some manoeuvre if you can. Two. two. Nothing I can do about it, drop it down to two wounds left. So I'd imagine Dakar to finish him off. Yep. Okay, three regular bikers. Um, um, hang on. Let, Let Mike think about this, yeah, see what kind of five power he's got here. Might want to split. Alright, so fives. Mike's putting everything into the warp slip. So there's three. Yep. And then... Uh, Three to wound, twin linked. Minus one. Three ups. Ah, oh, and he died. Oh. Oh, sad. Okay, he's gone. Right, got to capture this one on camera. Charges. This is make or break now for both these armies. Yeah, sorry. Maybe a five to get within an inch. Yeah, a six. Six, sorry, six. Uh, a four inch charge. Oh. Very likely this will go ahead. <laughs> okay. So you're on an eight in total, they'll make it in. All right, just look at something like this. Not doing him yet. All right. Because the CP reroll may need to be here. Got it. Okay. Uh, probably something like a five. Five. Five it is. Again, likely it should go ahead. Snake eyes. Come on, reroll. I will not say a word. You can roll without disturbance. Ooh. Oh, 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 charge goes ahead. This is good for the orcs. Both four bosses are in. Yeah, a nine inch charge across here. Yeah. Every roll available. Doesn't go ahead. Okay, but it's still a threat. And this one's guaranteed, just how far it goes. Eight inch charge. So I imagine you want to go something like this. Mike can just tell me if this is not what he wants. Yes, that's fine. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, like so. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good news for the orcs. I can't interrupt to do anything, so uh, Mike's free to make his attacks. So the wag's not on. Just two attacks each, but they'll chew through if they can get their hits. Ten attacks. Plus one to the hit rolls. Six is pop extras. Yeah. They've proved their worth. Their Raycross suggestion was certainly worth it taking down a land raider. Can they take down Havocs now? Almost developing a nickname. I avoided them with the entire army. You could call them the untouchables. Looking for threes. Sustains added in. Two to wound. God, if that was devastating wounds. Twin linked. Mm, twin linked, yeah. All of them. Four, six, eight. And minus it's minus three. Three. Three down. We're going to dead. Oh, dead as dead. God, that's a good way of playing them. Wow. Grog didn't even get to swing. That's the end of those. Havocs, which haven't done too bad. That's the end of our sticky objective as well. A uh, consolidation move on to the objective. Please, yeah. Yeah, plant yourself there and then job done. Yeah, so pilot move made. Five knobs can fight plus the ripper. Three of them haven't been able to make it in. 15. 15 attacks of the knobs. 
This is key here. Terminators can sting back, so it might cause uh, plenty of wounds coming through. Yeah. So. Threes. Threes, yeah. Lots of success would be nice. Okay, so ones and twos being removed. Can add one dice in for six. Okay. Strength nine. Threes to wound. Toughest five. Yeah. This is what could struggle. Oh, that's a real good roll. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Minus two, two damage. Huge roll need fours. I could block to chunk. Enough to actually keep most of the squad alive, would you believe? Um, we've lost two. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so one. that one's going to take out him. Yeah, another one take out another. Uh, that's Chain Fist. I'll maybe oh, think about him. Yeah. Um, we'll go for lose the... Ooh. Yeah, we'll lose this chopping person. And then you can put the one we left on the flamer. Like so. All right. But anyway, for our choosing models, there's the Ripper yeah. to fight next. Yeah, there's a footnote on my army list that Ed Whopper's Kill Chopper is actually on Gut Ripper. 20 point upgrade. Yeah, uh, melee weapons equipped by the bearer, excluding an extra attacks, have devastating wounds. Go ahead. Go. Well, we'll see what pounds out right now. Okay. So, four attacks with a waterfall. In on twos, leading the unit. Twos, yeah. Four sixes would be great. Mike wants these terminators gone. Gut Ripper says. Three fives and a six. Five hits. Strength ten, so twos. Twos to wound. If he gets a load of sixes. <laughs> it's going to come like a... No. no. Just the four. In one saves. Oh, he blocked three. Not One makes it through enough to kill another Terminator, which is quite crucial. Nothing I can do about it. I got burnt out on CP in this game. We really have starved. Okay, two Terminators left. We'll, pin, we'll send him in. I've just did attack squeak, but I can't really see it done or anything. Yeah, sorry, go ahead and do that. Yeah, extra attacks. Yeah, so, threes. Uh, they all three, but that's it. Okay. Uh, twos? No, because lead the unit plus one. No, it's a four. Starts on fours, okay. Yeah. Uh, across here. Yeah. It's a fresh venom crawler. It's going to take a bit of effort to bring it down. Uh, so you've got a power claw on the squad leader. Uh, yep. Yeah, so three attacks. Three attacks heading on threes. Nice sustained. Strength nine. No force. One. One. Minus two damage. Two damage comes through, dropping down to seven. Regular knobs. Uh, boys, sorry. Three, Bikers. Three choppers. No, uh, one's uh, just two, Mike. Sorry, six yeah. attacks. Thank you, Dougie. Jeez. So again, sustained, mm -hmm. yeah. Five to win. Five's to win. And another Just one, one yeah. minus one, four up. Now, wound comes through. Dropping down to six left. It's going to be tough enough to destroy it. We'll see what Zog can do. Jeez. Threes. Threes. Oh, two ones. And we'll try and block the one that does make it through, and we fail. So another two wounds being taken. We failed multiple saves there, but we've managed to stay alive. Okay, uh, fighting back. <clears throat> Not much left. We'll go the Venom Crawler. Uh, I'd be mad to go for... Ah, oh, we're dying in the corner. We'll go for... Yeah, we'll... <sighs> yeah, go on. Dark Pact. Go, oh, please, no. I'm going on. I am home already. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we'll go for sustained. Okay, no pain, no gain. Five hits with two bonus. Force to wound. 
Uh, three saves at minus one. Three saves at five plus. Desperate situation here. Nope. Yeah, two go through. Okay, so it's going to slay him. Yep. And put him down to a one wing left. Okay. Terminators are being reckless. We'll dark packs with them. Pays off this time. As we have a power fist. We'll go for sustained. We've got our hits. Uh, it's minus one to the one. Your power fist is greater than my toughness. So fours. Two go three. Um, minus two. Puts me to six up. Okay, two damage at times. Two knobs slain. Yep. And uh, then we'll go for. This is a chain fist. Nice. And then we'll try and wound on fours. One more comes through. Six minus. up. Uh, minus two again. Minus two, so six up. Yeah. Nope. Right, another one slain. Three in total. Yeah. Right, so end of turn. As our attacks come back, not too bad with the Terminators have stood up for themselves quite well, despite the avalanche of attacks come through and survived here, but yeah, we've virtually gone. So, 10 points of primaries. Three points and two points for secondaries being fulfilled, extend battle lines and overwhelming force, I think was the other. It's so 27 points to 20. Orcs are ahead, but we've got a turn in hand. We are camped out on an objective. We'll get five points straight away. See what secondaries come up. Both of us crawling towards the 50, 60 points. Anyway. Yeah, so it's been a, both armies are, are, are cancelling each other out. The other factions are rejoicing, seeing these two just pummel each other into the ground and f <laughs> failing to pick up points. Both sides, we, we were thinking one side breaks, the other side breaks. It hasn't, it's been backwards and forwards. And generally speaking, quite an even grind down. I think perhaps the Orcs have got themselves ahead, but it's hard to gauge until... Uh, the Alpha Legion have had their turn. What's starting to happen now, though, for the Orcs especially, is camping out quite solidly on objectives, which is healthy for the Orcs. Both sides looking to get a points tally flowing in on the final turns of the battle. But turn three for the Alpha Legion next. There's still life left in them. We'll go on to their turn three next. All right, so turn three for the Alpha Legion. Playing around the fringes of the board here, trying to set ourselves up for picking up points. Five points for primaries over there, holding the home objective uh, from the Orcs. Uh, Overwhelming Force and Aerodin are the two cards in play. Uh, we have paid our CP to back off and charge. We won't be able to shoot though with the Terminators. Uh, remaining close combat across here. Terminators have emerged, some of them. One model holding the objective on the Shreddy Claws. Those three moving around to put some shots into these. Uh, just to deny... This objective to the Orcs, we've just moved the cultists in one last defiant act just to surround them like zombies, just to stand there uh, to stop the points being picked up for this primary at least. Lord Discordant, where is he? He's over in that corner. He's turned up over there. Uh, he can put a bit of firepower and flames into the gun and then he'll just sit and wait uh, for orders to move out in later turns. That's movement done uh, for the Alpha Legion. We'll go into their shooting phase next. Okay, five powers uh, quickly done. He's finally turned up and he's burnt out that gun. It's been destroyed. Maxing out of our hits, tons of wounds coming through. Minus one, ignoring cover. Two damage every time, so we've burnt out the gun. Uh, toughness five, strength six, so plenty of wounds coming through. Uh, Dark Pact, we finished it, but we passed. Uh, and combined firepower of the Terminators to wipe out uh, the Storm Boys on that objective. So that's going to help us for secondary. It's going to help deny Mike points coming through as well so yeah if we're gonna if the avalanche are going down we're gonna drag the orcs with us i think the, <laughs> the theme for this game we'll see that's end of turn points oh, no, 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 no. Oh, charges yeah. we've got combats here we've got charges we must go in with the terminators we'll send them in for their charge and they that will go ahead on a nine we'll keep going here we'll be reckless terminators to dark pact goes off on 11 and we have right what's left actually uh, is we'll go for sustained with a chain fist. We are on the hit roll. Come on. Oh, it's terrible. Just the one. Minus one with a one roll now. Sure. Something like a four. Is your toughness five? Toughness five, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, I don't think I'm going to be strength ten. With a chain fist. Nope. 
So failed. It's all down to the shredder now. Five attacks. <clears throat> the cursed pair of cursed weapons. Yeah, five attacks. Are you rolling? Uh, add one in. Sustained. Uh, fours to wound. Yep. Are you rolling? Three make it three. At AP minus two. Those terminators are dinged. It's our last chance. Three, yeah? Yeah. Minus two. Uh, three six ups. Three six ups, yeah. Try and take an up with us. We do. Yeah. I'll leave that combat come down to this one. This one's uh, might cost to it in the right order. So, Mr. Zog. Just searching for one wound with the bikers, and that will kill that target in the corner and free them up. Free them up. Four tax, set on twos. Twos of Zog. For glory in the corner. Sustain. Sustain. Nice. Here we go. Three to wound. Three to wound. All of them. Well done, Zog. He's usually slain in games, but he's, he's done well working on this flank. And a good try, but no. Destroyed. Wouldn't mind blowing up. Nope. Nice clean work. Well done. Scrap metal. That's that finished. Mm -hmm. Mike can then roll onto this combat here with the knobs. I'm going to pay the CP for... I'm um, um, Bride of Carnage. Yeah. Fives popping sustained. Nice. Just to really get rid of the Terminators is the ideal mm. situation for the Orcs. I'm going to start with the war, war boss this time. Go ahead. Yeah, rip back, rip back. Here we go. Yeah, so four tags. Hitting on twos. Twos. Mm. Looks terrible, but we just add that in. Yeah, four hits. Two's the wound. All of them. Yeah. Minus two, two damage. Four up in one saves. That's enough to slay a Terminator. Well done. Take away Shreddy Eddie. Just down to the chain fist left. The attack squeak. Explodes. <laughs> Explodes, yeah. Um, five five. One. No AP. Ah, oh, you bit him. The squeak. <laughs> you bit him. Oh, please. Right. How many is left? Four left. One. Twelve attacks. Four. Three. These two, you, these two uh, close combat combinations with their transports are great, solid backbone units for the Orcs. Uh, three. Three, yeah. Five's right for popping. Yeah. Oh, there's tons. I'm just going to remove the model mic and keep rolling dice. <laughs> Don't need to see you go. Outclassed by the orc knobs. Wow. That was six explosions. Wow. I'm bright of carnage. That's one CP. One CP, yeah. Yeah, very useful when the, the melees are dragging on. You just want a bit of extra punch. Yeah. Really Same impressive. Roll. I'm, I'm going to roll up only because it's a little bit more difficult than the threes. I roll like this. Loads of ones and twos. There is a lot, but it's orky dice. Loads of dice. Three, four, six, seven. Well, close. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. Target destroyed. Well done. All right, clearing those out of the way. There's a zinch marker if you want it. No. Okay. So we are truly at the fringes of the battlefield now. Little discordant over there. Terminators over there. Now we'll calculate points. End of our turn three. So end of turn. I had five points for primaries, three points for overwhelming force, and we dumped Aerodinal for a CP. So Alpha Legion actually got themselves a point ahead, 28 points to 27. Both armies, as we've said, are already crawling along towards that 50 or 60 point mark. The rate we're going, we're going to drag each other down and maybe not qualify here in the league. We'll see. Now we've still got two turns to play. I had Orcs tactically better positioned on the board it may be a case of just reap those points uh, and try and push that score up if, if mike can get around 50 60 so the orcs will be in a healthy position same for the alpha legion we're going to turn four for the orcs next so turn four for the orcs i've actually gone ahead and just done the whole turn because the orcs are just settling down now uh, for the evening so they've, <laughs> they've burnt themselves out so uh, moving across uh, charging and just clearing out on here just shifting over here and hiding um, 15 points of primaries coming through. Bikers went to the edge of my deployment zone uh, to this is recover assets, right? Yeah. It's across here with that one. No man's land with him. Yeah. And on the objective. So that picked up Mike three points. 15 points of primaries. No desire to shoot or charge anywhere across the board. Happy to leave the Alpha Legion lurking in the shadows at the edge of the table. 
18 points come through, taking the Orcs too, 45 points, that's much better. Uh, the 60 mark looking very realistic. End of turn, we'll go on to Alpha Legion turn 4 next. So turn 4 for the Alpha Legion, both armies I think are just going to stand off and just bring in points. Uh, the Alpha Legion trying their best, 5 points for primaries in the corner. Uh, we got a card and dumped a card, the card that came up was marked for death which is no good for us, but behind enemy lines is the first card drawn. So we have two units that are currently doing it, which is excellent news. So three points, no, four points picked up for that. So nine points in total, taking us to 37, uh, which is okay for our score. Not too bad. It's not too bad, actually. No, it's not too bad. Because on the final turn, I might be able to pick up some more points as well. There's such a big difference or distance between these units. They're just happy enough just to stay away from each other. We're going to the fifth and final turn now. Orcs looking to really push their tally. Alpha Legion. Uh, looking to uh, pick up points of their own as well. All right, so turn five for both armies. We've actually gone ahead and done both. Uh, so Orcs went first, 15 points of primaries, points flowing in nicely for them. And then two lots of four, uh, established locus over in my deployment zone. Nice. Engage in all fronts. An advanced move here for this table quarter. Bike's already in position. These in position. And a movement there with Gut Ripper and his lads. Uh, so four and four, taking the... Orcs to 68 points. That's a good score. A very good result for them, uh, which will surely put them into the top eight for the league. So good news for the Orcs. Then we moved on to the Alpha Legion turn. Uh, Lord Discord, he's late to this battle, but he has helped the Alpha Legion pick up some crucial points at the end of this game. So we score our points after we've done our move at the end of the game. So we then made an advance. So we even swung around here and grabbed the Snowman's Land objective for five. Held on to Mike's objective for five. That gave us ten. That was the best score for primaries uh, for the entire game for us. Uh, and then two cards drawn. Secure No Man's Land for two with the Lord's Discordance moves. Actually turned into a seven-point objective. And established Locus with the Terminators over in that corner. So that's it's worth bearing in mind for the Alpha Legion. Or for any army that you play, you may lose the big core battle. But always play the fringes because that's where points for secondaries and primaries are available. South Legion have been able to cling on to the edges of this battle um, and have managed to rake in points, taking us to a total of 53. We have lost, but we've broken the 50 point barrier. Both of us have, and Orcs obviously doing a lot better on 68 points. So that I think gives both of these factions a chance at least of going through to the knockout stage of the league. We've got a couple of games left. Uh, we've got to a point in the league now where all the factions that we have available uh, for Mike and myself uh, which is a total of 13 armies, if you take away the, the Blood Angels and their current situations, 13 armies in total, they're all being entered into the league, and they all stand a good chance of playing all of their games, so a very equal opportunity for all the factions. We are, we are going to go for the top eight, so the top eight will qualify once all the games are done, that's based on total points scored, and then after that we'll go to the knockout stage, exciting time for the league, uh, where we go to sudden death uh, for the top eight, Eight armies that make it through. All right, so we have uh, the final scores. Units of the game for both sides. Make uh, ops, make a combination ops. of them. Yeah, make an ops. Plus the knobs, right? Yeah. The two war bosses with their bodyguards. Fantastic. They smash their way through here from turn one onwards. Really, really good. As for the Alpha Legion, whilst it lasted, it was great to see the Chaos Chosen doing so well. Uh, but I think I must give it to the Venom Crawlers. Just a blanket of firepower coming from them. Uh, working their way around the edges of the board really did help at the Alpha Legion Force. Where we died out in the middle. Uh, it was the work around the edges that managed to keep us in the fight and help us get some points on the board. So that's the units of the game for both sides. Uh, if you enjoy our games and you want to see extra battle reports, do join us on YouTube channel membership. And you can go to the channel homepage, hit the join button. There's a link for membership in the video description below. Uh, it's aspect warrior level most people are on that 90 percent of our subscribers are on aspect warrior level that just opens up all the bonus content that we create and when you do that it helps support us here on the channel we can't do these bad reports uh, without the help of subscribers as uh, or channel members so please do join up uh, and help support the channel here and when you're supporting us uh, you can enjoy the content knowing that you're helping us uh, create the content so we're going to update you on the league here Shifting up and down with different factions. Blood Angels are out of action here, sadly, uh, as the Firstborn have been moved on, uh, which meant which has meant that all the factions have pushed up. There's 13 factions in total. 
All of them have played a game at least. Most have completed their battles. At the top is the Necrons. Very convincing. Tau Empire, ambitious with their chance for the Channel Crown. What is this? The Orcs at third place with their 68 points for this win. So it looks like Orcs will be going through with that result uh, there as Mike has led them to victory. The Black Legion dropping down to fourth, but should be okay. It should be fine. Alpha Legion, despite their loss, have gone up to fifth place, pushing the Tyranids down to sixth. They could go out, but they're in at the moment. The Salamanders with their uh, recent victory, qualifying but close to dropping out. The Eldar cling on to the last spot, eighth position held by them. Surely they'll be bypassed by one of these. Uh, the Harlequins are in, as, and as they could catapult right to the very top with a good result. Imperial Fists, they're out. All right, yeah. Right, Imperial Fists are eliminated. They've played their two games and they're gone. Uh, the Red Scorpions, uh, it's not too bad score. They've got a chance of pushing through. The Admech, some chance. And the Thousand Sons would need a miracle. Uh, with their low score. We reckon there's two games left to get our two results. And we reckon we know the combination for this one. It's going to be the last qualifying game. Should be Adeptus Mechanicus versus Harlequins. And Red Scorpions versus the Thousand Suns. That'll finish the qualifying games uh, here for our Season 12 League. And those battle reports should be split over YouTube and on YouTube channel membership. And then we go down to the exciting stuff, Sudden Death, one game. Uh, if you win, you go through, if you lose, you're knocked out as we seek to establish the channel champion. There'll be eight factions with a chance to do it. And we go to the final knockout stage of our season 12 battle reports. I think for the first time we've had equal opportunity, which is great for all the factions, a chance for all of them to shine. Even more obscure armies such as the Harlequins, just giving them a chance. Uh, here in this league that's the battle orcs prevail both armies picking up a decent enough score to push them into the qualifying top eight we'll see if they can stay there there's other factions with their own ambitions as well keep a look out for more battle reports on youtube and over on channel membership thanks for watching tune in next time